Hi! In this video, you will learn how to create temporary cross sections and why they are useful in your daily routing workflow. In this exercise, we stake out the design file to check the final road. Why do we create the cross sections only temporarily and not permanently? The benefit of the temporary mode is to have a clear map that is not overloaded with excessive data that is currently irrelevant. Instead, we focus on the current active cross section which we want to stake out. As we mark points on this cross section, we can immediately identify any differences between the constructed road and the design road. We start on the home menu. We ensure that we have the correct project and job settings. We tap on the roading application. On the map, we see the loaded road design file. For the initial creation of a cross section, we must select a road line. We tap on the toolbox and we tap on Create Cross Section. This is the point where we switch to creating a temporary cross section. We change the mode from permanent to temporary. In this exercise, we are working at the second half of the road. We set the start chainage to 200 meters. Since this section is straight, we maintain a larger interval of 15 meters. We tap on OK. Back on the map, we see the first temporary cross section at 200 meters along the road. A toolbar will be shown directly in the bottom right corner. By using the back and forward buttons, we can activate and display the position of the previous or next cross section. With the measure bar next to the toolbar, we can store the points, apply codes, change the point ID and more. In the temporary cross section mode, it is not possible to select any other element of a road file. In this exercise, we stake out the cross section at two locations along this road. We walk towards the line and store the points. Next, we tap on the forward button to display the next cross section. The temporary cross section is automatically selected. We store two points against the line again. The stakeout points are stored with a predefined name. If we stake out the cross section line, we use the chainage as a prefix value in the name. As the next step, we will stake out the curve. To ensure accuracy on the curve, we will adjust the interval of the temporary cross sections to a smaller value. Since we are already in the temporary mode, we just tap on the toolbox and then on Create Cross Section. The start chainage value has been updated. It is actually the chainage of the last active cross section. And it can be changed if needed. In this exercise, we want to stake out the curve precisely every 2 meters. So, we reduce the interval value to 2 meters and we keep the start chainage value as it is. We tap on OK. We start by selecting the innermost point of the temporary cross section. We walk towards the point until we are in tolerance and store it. To learn some basics, you may also want to see the video how to stake out points. The predefined name of the stakeout point now includes the chainage value and a count of each point on the cross section. In this case, it is labeled as 001 for the first point on the left side of the road in the given direction. In the same way, we stake out each point of the cross section. We tap on the forward button to go to the next temporary cross section. We select the innermost point of this cross section, stake it out in tolerance and store the point. We repeat the same process for the following cross sections to get an overall picture of the state of the existing road in relation to the design file. 
when all relevant points are stored. We tap on Cancel to exit the tool. Now we could generate a stakeout report to hand it over to the project leader. By the way, you may also want to see the video How to Create a Stakeout Report. It is also possible to use the temporary cross-sections in combination with the tool for auto-element selection. That's it. You have learned how to define temporary cross-sections at specific start, change and interval values. You have also learned how to stake out the elements of the temporary cross-section. Thanks for watching.